Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inside Davidson Wrestling. Joined by two Wildcats this week. I got head coach uh, Nate Carr Jr. and sophomore Tanner Peak with us. Guys, how we doing? Good. Um, Nate, let's start with you. Uh, you guys are on a short week this week. Got App State coming in on Thursday, and then you guys head to VMI on Friday. Um, what's this week look like for for the team as far as you know practice, film, and class, those kinds of things? Yeah, just um, sticking to we had a lift this morning. Yesterday was off, so just giving them an off day to make sure they're ready to go, get some rest, and then today did a little bit of lifting. And then today will be our practice. We kind of a harder pick up the pace, kind of get some hard drills, break that sweat. Wednesday will be kind of just low key. We do the same routine every week before a match, so they kind of know what to expect, get their weight down, and then you know actually they get to weigh in uh, at 11 a.m. on Thursday, so they get to a little bit of a different weigh in for them. So that'll be a little bit different how they make weight, but they also feel pretty comfortable that they get a seven hour weigh in versus a, a two hour weigh in. So a um, little bit different change of pace as far as that weigh in, but yeah, stick to the same thing. We gotta stay fundamentally sound through three periods. So continue to give that message to the guys. You gotta be in a good stance. You gotta know how to sprawl. When you get to a leg, you gotta be able to capitalize on a finish. So preaching the same things, just get better at those same things. And at the end of the day, you gotta be willing to, to scrap. So. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about a guy that we, we talked a little bit about after that Gardner Webb match with Brady making his college debut. And you know, I know he's coming back from injury. So uh, kind of what's the plan with him coming back from that injury going forward? Yeah, he's, he's, he's 100%, he's healthy. Um, he's going to keep training, and he's on a descent plan to get down to 125. And you know, our goal is for him to continue to get better each week, get his weight down each week, but just got a lot of energy because he hasn't wrestled all year. So he's going to the postseason potentially with some energy and with some, uh, some high goals. So trying to just keep him getting better, just like everyone else. Um, he just might feel a little bit better than everyone else because he hasn't had to wrestle the whole season. So uh, very similar to what he had to do last year come at the end of the season, kind of play catch up, but has some energy to, to go out there and scrap. So we look forward to seeing where he's at um, over the next couple of weeks. Now let's talk about a guy that has a ton of matches for you guys with Tyler. Yeah. Um, last four matches have either been decided by one point or have gone to overtime. So he's been in a lot of you know close mass matches these last couple of weeks. Um, what are some things that you and the staff are working on with him and um, even beyond this week, you know, to get him back on track. He's lost the guys that have been either plus three, plus four, even five years into college. And he's only a freshman, been here for about six months. So he's, he's, he's on par. He's special, right? So he's got a lot of abilities. He's just got to continue to get better. And a lot of these overtime matches come down to one second riding, um, taking a bad shot at the wrong time, little things that we believe we can fix. And he's a bad seed going to the conference tournament. No one wants to wrestle Tyler Murray night on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. It's just a tough out for anybody. So we're just encouraged to help him get better and hopefully he's greater later and March ready, so. And then let's talk about the guy to your right here and uh, uh, Wyatt, you know, Wyatt, six and one on the year against SoCon opponents. Yeah. Um, this guy here, four and oh. What do you, uh, why do you think they've had so much success these last few weeks? Well, they both got a heck of an underhook, so that, that always helps. So they had great control ties. They are very stingy, tough to score on. Um, they both are very explosive, so that gives a lot of people problems. I think just getting better, both of them get better in learning. Um, he works with Coach Ty, Wyatt works with Coach Coleman, so they do a good job of just honing in on their skills and sticking to kind of a consistent, every Tuesday, Thursday, we're doing this, this is what we gotta work on, here's some reminders, here's what you did good this week, here's what we gotta get ready for this next week, right? So just continue to follow the process. It's been good, they've been doing a really good job. I expect nothing but continue. They're both going to have great challenges this week. Be ready to go and scrap. So. Awesome. Now, Tanner, let's let's talk with you. You know, last year you had a lot of success as a freshman. SoCon runner-up program record for best win percentage as a freshman. Um, what do you think has been the biggest learning curve going from year one to year two? Um, you know, I'd say just mainly uh, learning to take it day by day and uh, really just kind of uh, focusing on improving each day rather than mainly focusing on the results. Uh, it's kind of allowed me to open up my wrestling more, take the pressure off, and just kind of go out there and have fun. Yeah, and you know, last year you came back from injury on fire, never really looked back. Um, this year was a little bit different, you know, um, a little bit of a slower start, you know, had a lot of overtime matches, um, weren't winning as much as probably you'd like, but um, you know, now you've won seven of your last eight, and you're, you know, heating back up. So 
how have you been able to turn it around and you know how are you feeling about where you're at at this point of the year uh you know just uh keeping a positive mindset and uh you know having uh talks with ty where uh whether it's about something wrestling wise positionally or just uh self-belief of just knowing i could go out there and get it done and uh keeping that positive mindset uh through the through the losses and continuing to work hard in the room is uh I think kind of what's gotten me to this point so far. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that work in the room. You know, um, after we talked uh, at the Gardner Web match, Nate had said, and you hit on it too, you're working a lot with Coach Ty. So I guess talk about, you know, some things that you and him have been working on technically, and then talk a little bit about, you know, who you're working with in this room in the competition level. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, me and Ty, I mean, it's, it's really just a lot of working the basics, you know, um, positions, uh, staying in good position throughout the whole match moving my feet and just getting to places that I like to be uh, and really just kind of uh, pounding that into my brain. And um, in terms of guys I've worked out with in the room, I mean, there's so many guys to point to that have just helped me improve my wrestling, whether it's Tyler, who's just super fast and just very unconventional. Uh, you know, there's guys like Bryce and Brett who are just super strong, pushing me in the room. And then even guys like Yeti and uh, Noah Frack, who are just super uh, funky guys, that kind of give me uh, all those different feels that I need to feel uh, every position I might get in when it comes to the actual match. Yeah, well, I know you guys got a busy, uh, busy week again. I appreciate you guys sitting down with us. Thanks. Go Cats. Thanks.